My name is Brian Inge, a trainer, coach, mentor, uh, event planner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've known Marcus Thornton probably going on four or five years. Um, first time I actually laid eyes on Marcus, he was uh, working out with uh, his other trainer, Keith Williams, who I used to work out with when I was still playing. So I, I noticed him then, uh, like, athletic player, talented, he should really shoot it. But from then to now, he's come a long way, really works hard. He's not one of those kids who was highly regarded, very young. Uh, he kept working. He took his weaknesses and made them into strengths. He took his strengths and made them into made untouchable strengths. So um, he's a really good kid, really works hard. Uh, I try to put all my young kids who are inspiring to be good athletes and good people, I try to put them around him. I try to get them to pretty much follow his path and to see, do the things he does. My name is Marcus Thornton. I'm up in Marlboro, Maryland. I go to William Mary, College of William Mary. I play point guard, shooting guard. The DMV area is just a great area for basketball. I mean, uh, I think we definitely have an advantage, you know, kids growing up in this area. Basketball wise, because it's so competitive. You know, there's so many great players uh, that, that come out of this area, and it really makes you work harder than, you know, more so than maybe in other places where there isn't as much talent. So, being surrounded by so many other guys just, you know, naturally makes you want to work harder. And, uh, you know, not being recruited highly or, you know, talked about much, you know, really didn't bother me. You know, going to McNamara, I played uh, freshman as a freshman, JV as a sophomore, and uh, going into my junior year, you know, my main goal was just to make varsity. Wasn't really thinking about, you know, making, uh, getting a basketball scholarship or anything like that. So um, that's when I got in the gym with Keith Williams, like Brian mentioned earlier, uh, who he used to work out with as well. And I uh, just worked really hard that summer and really set my mind on uh, making varsity and, you know, doing bigger, better things. I think the main thing in uh, being successful or having a chance to be successful is hard work, you know, simple and plain. There's no shortcuts, there's no loopholes, you know, you got to get in the gym, work on your craft, and bottom line is it comes easier to others, harder to others, so you just have to get in, put the time in, put the hours in, you know, uh, ask others for advice too, you know, coaches, whatever it may be that sees you play, and don't take uh, criticism too hard, you know, constructive criticism is one of the best parts of the game, you know, like Brian said, uh, coming out of high school, I think I took a lot of my weaknesses and made them a lot better. So just putting in the time, being patient, you know, results don't happen overnight. Uh, being persistent and never giving up. Outside of basketball, you know, I just like to hang out with my friends, listen to music, uh, have a pool, so I like to swim a lot. Uh, at school, um, I major in kinesiology, so uh, sports medicine, just stuff dealing with the game, you know, injuries, uh, body movement, stuff of that nature I'm interested in. And it's just kind of good to see how that kind of ties in with basketball and being playing a sport myself is all interesting. Coming into William Mary as a freshman, uh, I think my biggest adjustment was playing the game hard all the time. You know, in high school, uh, my senior year, I had a pretty good year, was kind of on cruise control, enjoying myself, but in college, it's just a different, it's a different level of intensity. You gotta go hard every play, every practice, no matter summer, winter time, no matter where it may be.